right, so back to this. Uh, again, three of three. Third video of, uh, again, you know, post Reveria chapter two. I guess uh, not series, but just like sequence of videos, right? Again, the first one I've done, which by not upload yet, but by the time you're seeing this, should be. Again, that was just chapter two thoughts and opinions. The second one, again, being chapter one to comparison and then going over the predictions. But honestly, that video probably shouldn't have made it because A, I don't even remember them. B, again, right, I, I just went over that comparison real quick. So I probably should combine it with this video. But again, I guess that gives more time to focus for the topic of this video and this video. And again, that's the chapter three predictions, right? And then also kind of where I think the series will go, right? And again, this one's going to be big. Since, again, chapter three is seemingly a real-world chapter, right? So, again, that's uh, that's something to go for there. But, again, after this, I will say, though, first things first, right? So, besides those two videos in this video, right? Getting these out of the way. I guess after this video, you know, seemingly no new videos until chapter three actually comes out. Which, if we're going at the rate, you know, that they got chapter two out, you know, the turnaround from when they finished chapter one, complete chapter one, the last update to chapter two coming out should hopefully be out around maybe like by Christmas, the end of this year. But again, who knows, right? We'll see, right? So whenever that comes out, you know, I'll play it. And then again, I'll make, oh, that was loud. And then I'll make some uh, more videos on it, right? But for now, again, I'm just making these post chapter two videos. I don't really plan on making AR videos between now and then. So again, right, at least in terms of that. But uh, beyond that, right, I guess, you know, I don't really have uh I guess anything else to say before we get into this or regarding that. So I guess for that reason, right, let's just uh let's just get into it, right? Go into chapter three predictions and also where kind of the story goes. So there's that, right? So let's get into it. First things first, and the big thing that I took note or like what's it called, you know, um that I took note of and that like I noticed and again kind of uh what would you call it? Uh Jesus, what's the term? Anything the big thing that I sort of, uh, yeah, I guess that's what it is, took note of, is that pretty much the entire mod itself in, in kind of, you know, the story that goes along with it is pretty much determined by the direction that they take in the real world. Whatever they do regarding real world, and specifically, seemingly, Chapter 3, since it's a real world segment, you know, or uh, what would you call it, uh, sequence, pretty much determines, you know, what egg happens in the real world, obviously, right? But, again, so that's obvious and then whatever storyline that comes part of that but also what happens in headspace and the direction that headspace goes in as opposed to like the inverse you know being said can't really be true right because headspace is specifically just i mean you're not even venturing with the again your friends anymore in headspace it's literally just the remaining headspace characters versus the real world where who knows what will happen right during the sequence and segments so but again, the big thing is basically not only how the direction they take in the real world, but specifically in chapter three, this next chapter, Sense Against, the first real world segment of sequence, pretty much determines the only direction that the story takes for the rest of the game, both the real world, obviously, and then also Headspace. So pretty much ever. here's what I'll say. Chapters one and two, right? Because one, again, I even mentioned in the comparison, sets up kind of the background situation context for uh, pretty much the mod and its differences between that and the actual game, right? And sets that up. And then chapter two kind of expands on that more. So hones in on that, I guess, the sort of comparison, right? And especially with uh, seeing Fallen World and how it compares to other world. So, but those are fairly straightforward, self-explanatory. This chapter three real world segment, segment or sequence can go in pretty much any direction. And then whatever direction it takes, again, pretty much decides what happens to the rest of the mod. So there's that. Just kind of establishing how important this next chapter is, right? This next chapter is pretty much going to decide the rest of the mod and what happens with it. So establishing that, right? That's the first things, you know, that's the thing first off, right? So there's that. And again, that's just setting that baseline, right? So secondly, again, right? Assuming it's, we, we already know some, and, and this will kind of set up, you know, Again, what's it called? You know, the sequence or segment of whatever it is. We already kind of know a bit about the real world, right? Based on what we've seen thus far. We know Sonny's in a new house. We know some time has passed seeing him in that mirror, right? We see, uh, again, things are different. And then also, you know, that Basil's family had been sending him flowers. So we know some time had passed. It's post-good ending. That's literally in the description, right? 
of the mod post good ending but also that some time had passed being in the new house fully moved in uh, looking a bit older with his hoodie and his still has his eye patch though and then again basil's family sending him flowers so we know it's some time has passed but we know he's in a completely different area than far away seemingly somewhere in the city which is i guess where they moved to again right so that's something to where in terms of that right uh so again it kind of raises the question of okay what is there to do what would happen in sort of real world would Sonya to actually you know pretty much go outside and do stuff right because we assume that's what's going to happen in this chapter or segment like a sequence in a chapter three so i guess a very baseline thing would be like again he goes outside and does like you know go shopping or something right you know needs to go pick up some stuff because there's never any food in the house i guess is a way to put it right so he goes and does that right but pretty much again what what i think it would be is mostly kind of exploring a new area a new far away so to speak right again it'd be different right but whatever town or you know a uh, city i guess uh, or village whatever he's living in right i assume we would get to explore that i guess kind of the big question in where i guess this what happened is is he going to get any interaction with his friends from far away right or any other character that we see in Omori thus far. I think that's kind of the big question. And I think what it all comes down to is how long they want to make Reverie. I think, you know, inevitably, he would get some interaction with his uh, friends in Faraway and characters that we know. Because, specifically, we know that it's post-good ending. So I think some of that is inevitable. You know... I think the big question there is that, is it going to be in chapter three or will it get put on hold for a future chapter? Because I can see it being done one, two ways. One, if they want to drag on the mod for as long as possible, right? You know, if they have some grand plan in store for, you know, the story of this mod and they want to take a dozen chapters to make it happen. You know, I can see them in this chapter have Sonny go around, you know, shopping, kind of exploring the, you know, town, village or city, wherever he's living you know, come back, put shit away, and then go back to bed, right? I can see if they take that sort of long con route, right? If they take the long route, play the long game, they'd go in that direction. The issue being, if they don't want that, and they, again, you know, let's say they only plan on having half, six chapters, right? You know, for the sake of, you know, time, right? We're all, if that's the case, we're already closing in on halfway, being halfway done, right? Halfway through a game. If that's the case, I definitely think that that he would already, like, in Chapter 3, he would get some again, you know, uh, he would get to meet, have, uh, what would you call it, you know, meet, and then, uh, what would you call it, have exposure to his faraway friends, right, you know, the characters that we've already seen in the game, right, so, and again, pretty much, we, we already know he's gonna do shit in the real world, right, again, most likely it's gonna be exploring whatever place we're now in, right, as opposed to far away, again, but the big question, what it hinges down to and falls upon is, okay, you know, is he gonna meet his friends or our characters from far away or not, and it kind of depends on how long they want to make the mod, they want to make it long, you know, super long, then I can see them foregoing it this time around, but if not, I, I don't see a reason that wouldn't happen, and also, again, the big thing there is, in this kind of question it raises, I think that clearly the chapter is going to end with him going home and sleeping, and then going back to uh, headspace, and things kind of being different there when we get back. So I think that's the big thing there, right? Maybe waking up again in the metro, maybe somewhere else. Who knows? But I, I think that's definitely how chapter three is going to end. I guess the big thing there is, and kind of the big question being raised is, okay, how does this all impact headspace, right? Again, I think I, what I even said and based on, you know, looking at Headspace and what we've seen uh, post good ending is that kind of the end game for that, I think, is that, you know, all the characters, you know, basically he's not venturing with the dream world gang. Right. So it's something to where the point of Headspace is no longer just a continuous cycle, you know, to kind of distract him from his real world issues. It's more so, again, in, in the exact opposite, quite frank, right? Not a cycle, but the end to it, right? And closure for the rest of the Dream World cast and characters, right? So, again, I think the end game is clearly, obviously, you know, these Dream World characters making it to where they need to go and being it kind of like a final send-off uh, before, again, Sonny fully reintegrates into the real world, right? And, I mean, that explains why he's playing as himself in the Dream World. But, again, it's something to where... Again, since we know that the, what happens in the real world affects headspace, since, again, the focal point, again, being the real world and 
and then we, since we know it's post good ending, I, I think that's pretty much the end game or end goal for the dream world there, right? Or headspace, you know, it depends on how long it'll take to get there, right? And what we'll see before then. But again, at least I can say confidently for sure that's most likely going to be the end goal or end game of, uh, again, right, headspace. So, well, that again, you know, and like I said, that pretty much, unless, you know, they pull a 180 and Sunny goes back to being going for Ikikomori, I don't think that'll happen, right? So it's just, it's something to where it's like, and I said pretty much whatever direction the real world takes pretty much shapes the rest of the game. Um, once we play through this real world sequence, it'll be more interesting to see, okay, you know, what are they going to do with Headspace? Uh, like, kind of what path will they take? Um, again, we know regardless, it'll most likely end like that, but... Again, at least in terms of that, right? So, that's what that comes down to there. And, again, I guess, kind of the big thing, and I don't really, honestly, I don't really have much more to say. Like, much more to go over, right? Because I think that's the main prediction that I'm make right the big thing that i'm gonna say again kind of laying that out like if i had to bank on anything i'd say we meet at least one person i'd say and i'm, I'm gonna throw this down now i'd say we meet at least one of our friends you know one of one of our friends at least a person from far away um again because i just don't see them drawing out this mod like for that long because again it's like the mods more so kind of again you know uh, the mod doesn't take itself too seriously, right? It's more so continuation to provide kind of, like, closure there. It, again, it's more so just to have that, like, I guess, a continued Omori experience, right? That feel and, like, the enjoyment of it. So I don't think... I don't think it would draw itself on that long. So I'd bank on us meeting at least one familiar face, but who knows, right? And again, I guess, but beyond that, yeah, it's just, like, it pretty much all comes down to this Chapter 3. I, there's not much more I'm really going to predict beyond just... Okay, we go out exploring, shopping, potentially meet a familiar face. Because, again, we kind of... It, it's not like the dream world where now if we were going on that, you know, we could try to predict more, right? Coming in Chapter 3 or Headspace. But, again, now that we're going in the real world, right, and actually going outside for the first time, you know, surprisingly, it's like pretty much anything goes. But with that, again, I don't really have much more to say. I think I'm just going to end it here again. You know, I'm very excited you know, very hyped to see what comes of this chapter. But that, I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the 